John, back here in Ottawa. An awkward moment for NDP leader Jagmeet Singh. Take a look at what happened in this post-caucus scrum. Can you tell us whether or not your caucus is behind you in supporting this bill? Uh, at this point, that's, I'm, I'm, you know, just give me a moment. I'm absolutely clarified. So yes, right now our caucus is in support of this bill. <laughs> I, I've I've never seen that before, Craig. Did he stop uh, to check with either. caucus I'm, to see uh, if they're on side? Well, look, a national leader should at least know what legislation <laughs> the government he wants to replace is putting forward. Mm -hmm. And he didn't. He's not doing his homework. I know why he wants to go across the country and get known, but he better start getting known about federal legislation brought in by the Liberals who he wants to defeat. I think one of the major concerns here for his party is that this makes him look weak. It opens up to, you know, vulnerabilities. Now the opposition knows that he may not be totally in line with his party. And, you know, for reporters as well, we can now stand there and go back and forth with him. And we know there's a potential he could turn around and ask a critic what the policy is on this. And especially on gun legislation. Like, this is not... A, and that's a, what this was being discussed exactly. here, This is, is not a minor bill. It's a significant bill, and he really should have you know, knowing that. But I guess credit to him for turning around and trying to <laughs> clarify. Asked, Craig, is this one of the dangers of having a leader who doesn't have a seat and isn't it, in the it, Commons with it the absolutely, party? It absolutely is. And in fact, he is having a lot of trouble, a lot of it going public with his caucus. Many times they're disagreeing. And there are people in that caucus who don't like the federal government gun bill. So he's gonna, he, may, he may have a problem with some of those people yet. He really has to get to know his caucus. Come on, get in there and say hello and get to know these people and what they believe. Yeah, he's pretty busy trying to get to know the Canadians across the country, but it might pay off for him to spend a little bit more time here in Ottawa. Well, and certainly... Get some... a seat. He's got to get a seat. Uh, where, he's the guy where do you think he's going to run, courage, Craig? Remember. Pardon me? I'm curious to know, any seats popping up he might run in soon? Well, he's a guy that talked about courage. I think if he really believes that, this is in his famous big speech uh, to, to the party, if he believes about courage, then he should have some courage and try a riding he might not be able to win. And if he loses it, you try again. That, that happened to lots of other people who were prime ministers. Mackenzie King was defeated a couple of times. <laughs> there you go. Still a chance, even if you lose the seat, but something that uh, the NDP leader is going to have to get to work on. Thank you very much to our journalists for joining us. We'll see you again next week.